Welcome to part one of the Atomic Heart walkthrough. I'm so hyped for this game. I reacted to the trailer of it like a year ago and I was just blown away by how weird and wonderful the world and enemies looked. I've never really seen anything quite like it. And I'm getting sponsored to actually share it with you guys, which is literally a dream come true. Now, Atomic Heart is based in this alternative reality in 1955, where a scientist creates a substance called Polymer, a natural network collective. And as we jump in now, they're about to launch the next upgrade for it, which is going to allow humans to control robots with their minds. So let's see how that could potentially turn out for us. And if you guys like the game, you can grab it from the link down below in the description. Let's get started. This is weird, but I'm impressed by the difficulty settings. So starting out, we have Peaceful, which is described as a scenic tour of the facility. And it's just got you with your legs up on top of an enemy eating popcorn off their head. Then we have normal difficulty where it's obviously a balanced approach to the game. And then we have Armageddon where you're literally getting spanked by the enemy. I like this character as well. He's like a Volt Boy looking character. Very inspired by Fallout, which I adore. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks love this stunning. Place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Whoa. Chelame City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This so this was clearly the, the was world before everything kicks off and goes wrong. I love it when they the do this, Soviet when they show you the contrast. Including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Which is why everyone's a robot, because no one's actually that brilliant or intelligent. Least of all me. I wouldn't survive if the world was like this. Well, Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Yes, comrade, give me the soda. Oh, I have options. Okay, sure, thanks. Sure, Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, it's time, so I didn't respond fast enough, so I didn't even make a decision. <laughs> I'll take the soda. Oh, you give it back the glass as well. Cool. We might have to do multiple playthroughs of this game because it has multiple. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation yeah, systems. Just a number. Yeah, I noticed. We'll come up with something. There's so much stuff going on in this world. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up with your Vovas bots, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been lying there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. <laughs> Fighting over a box. <laughs> Give me your control code. I'll set him straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. We oh, saw her in the intro. Uh, the code 0451. I swear to God, okay, that's going to be important. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. 0451, oh, I guarantee. You oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. I guarantee that's going to be a passcode to something later. Look at that, it's a massive shipping crate with loads of robots in. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. He sounds German. <laughs> Look at all the drones. This would be so chaotic if this was real life. I feel like this is the way the future's going as well. I'm getting, like, very uncanny You've valley vibes. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. <laughs> I feel like we're going to have good banter from the player character. Huh? 
My objective's over there, so I'm gonna go this way and check out what is happening. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited Have you advice. Like that Get out of here. Quick. Look at that. I think that's our plug-in AI that's speaking to us right now. There are so many balloons in this town. I've never seen so many balloons in my life. Good robot. I like how they have a little mustache. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. The pace of technological progress is breathtaking. No sky's the limit and no ocean is too What is this, though? Get yourself a thought or your life will come to naught. <laughs> Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, thanks. I'm just browsing. A thought device. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? No, thanks. I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Okay. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks, I'm good. Ah, well, that's a shame. You should try it. You won't regret it. But have a great day. There's no way I'm putting that hey, thing on my head. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, a chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. You can drive cars in this game as well, by the way. Controlling robots with the power of thought is nice, but if it's a machine, I'll be You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. He's trying to sell these all over the place. Clouds tomorrow, Sveta? Oh, the weather forecast says it'll be nice all weekend. And on Monday. Well, Monday's a no-brainer. It's tomorrow I'm worried about. I need to do the laundry. I should check the weather forecast. Ah, Relax. look tomorrow at her. It's supposed to be sunny. It's She's rude checking to the weather. on other people's conversations, comrade major. You're one to talk. She used that weird thing on her head to check the weather. I don't trust people with that stuff in their face, man. Wow, look at this. This world is honestly, like, very believable. Impressive, bro. Nice rock skipping. I do to sleep. You can become part of collective with a thought device, comrades. I'm good, thanks, dude. I feel like it's caressing my hair. Nah. But this time, make sure the atom's in the picture. They're taking a picture. Well, let's just take the picture the way we are. Say cheese! Can I like how they the still have the shutter too? effect. I'm gonna get in this picture. Everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm gonna be I'm in a lady it too. From the future, and you're my soldiers. Look at her. She's soulless yeah, and dead like inside. This. Say cheese. Cheese. I'm gonna ruin the picture. Take another one. I'll stand in front of you. Keep still. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Can I move now? Come on, let's see the picture. I've ruined their pictures. <laughs> I've been walking along just listening to everyone's conversations because it just makes me find out more about the world. It's quite enjoyable, actually. What's this? What have you got? Is it an ice cream? Oh, it is! Oh, yeah, look at that. Damn. Who eats an ice cream like that? That's tragic. Dude, nobody eats an ice cream like that. That's terrible. That needs to be fixed. Oh my god. Unplayable. Can't believe it. 3 out of 10. IGN. Wow, look at the dexterity of this man. <laughs> what is that? We've got 10 minutes to get there. Get out of my way. 
Lake Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. She looks dead inside. I'm terrified that all of these robots are going to come become my Everyone enemies. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Remember how it all started. F3? Look at this projector robot. I mean, that's so cool. I'm really loving this beautiful world. I can't wait for everything just to, to go wrong. Oh, is this like a war memorial? So this is projecting the stars there. Science is amazing. You see. And here we are. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Oh, this capsule, okay. This is what we saw in all the adverts around the city. Looks pretty nutty. Oh, what's... Oh, it interlinks with it. Interesting. Dude, that's sick. That's all I needed. Just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. They're exercising robots in here. That one does not look like it was designed to run like that, but kind of terrifying. Oh my god, look at his rib cage. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Look at his face. It's actually kind of cool seeing everyone like work on- Oh! Oh my goodness. I don't think he's okay, Doc. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Just in time, boys. Best scan everything. So this lets me see all the robots in existence. Look at that thing. Oh my god, there's another massive robot over there. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Seshnov, and this is facility 3826. A warm welcome to 
your future. I do not want this future, guys. This is kind of creeping me out a bit. Why are you clapping me, bro? Possible to launch report to the lobby of that high rise, all encompassing version of the collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. They've connected the humans to the robots. That's a mistake. With their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at facility 3826. I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector, Thought. It will allow human beings Terrifying. to be in the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful That's mind sickle. free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, So glad to see you you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Mind. The car is Mastering waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Accessing it's been left with one of his bodyguards. And of yeah, course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. Dude, this building is you crazy. Will no longer need Look at this place. Panels, it looks incredible. I do not want to sign up for this program of connecting myself with the robots. So. Oh my and god, so this room more. is beautiful. Your potential will be unlimited. Wow. Want to learn a foreign language I used to be an architect. Impressed. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. My goodness. This is the elevator? Look at this! Oh, they've got these fame. These chairs were designed by famous architects, actually. Oh, we're going up. Didn't even close the doors. In five minutes. In just five minutes. Whoa, this elevator is a bit trippy. Come right. As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. There's, so, there's, there's an overwhelming amount of information to absorb in this game. I feel like I could almost play the, the intro for again just to get more of a understanding the of what the world's about. Because I've just been thrown into this incredibly immersive world so far. And I'm, I'm pretty overwhelmed by it, to be honest. Only two days away. Get Which is good. today. And become Homo Futurum among the first. The future is already yours. Oh, I'm getting mad Voltec vibes from this. Oh my god, here we are. Your entrance hall is a bit unnecessary. How big would you like your entrance hall? Yes. I feel like I'm entering the evil overlord door. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Is that the boss? Oh, he's currently doing that presentation we see live outside. There he is. There's actually a camera recording him and everything. That's Concord! Going into the ground. And then they've got normal passenger plane the two floors by the looks of it. Mate, I'm, I'm six foot five in real life. Look how, look how tall this robot is. I think she is very tall. You know how when games come out and people just seem to get attracted to like different NPCs in the game that no one would ever suspect? I feel like these people are gonna be- Kim, Kim, look how, look how like, these Are robot- you? I know, right? They're like actually, they're actually they're pretty hot for some reason. I know, look! Also, I want to appreciate actually- My, my wife approves of the realistic, sexy robot proportions. I mean, hello? <laughs> 
Okay, we have to go back out here. And in the lift. Look how that sinks down. Ugh, escape! Oh, you can't jump. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man <laughs> was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Damn, look at this place. Oh. Man. Okay, I need to stop, like, drooling over this setup because it's it's cool. We get it. Now I get to, hopefully I get to drive the car. I don't know if they'll allow me to drive it yet. I assume someone's going to take me. Oh, do I get to drive it? Let's go. I got an achievement. Nice. Oh, is this the key for the car then? I'm pretty sure that's not how keys work, but future keys are pretty cool. Oh, nice. Okay. This is a classic. Look at that radio. And it's a convertible. Oh my god, it's got it looks like udders or Please something. Secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Okay. What the heck? Oh, is what? Oh no, I'm Isn't flying. there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with I just came from in it. every get city. It. The American <laughs> government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. The world isn't as perfect as they make out. Is that a flying city? What? We're in the sky. We were flying in this city. What? Oh my god, it's like Bioshock Infinite, right? Like... Oh my goodness. This... It actually has blown my mind, like, twice over now. It's like when you zoom out and then you realize, oh wait, it was a dream sort of thing. Like I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? I said the signals on the Fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Doctor Sechenov already filled me in. Hmm. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. <laughs> Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. My god, look at this world. I wonder if we can, like, explore these individual floating islands later. My god. <laughs> so many, like, birds around as well. Surely they wouldn't fly up this high. I think we can see the earth below us through the clouds. I feel like the vibe and the atmosphere is changing. Got some sick beats on the radio. This is facility 3826's audio Whoa. guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Look Estimated at this place. time of arrival is 11:47 a.m. Oh my Outside god, I hope we can temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is uh, a slight breeze. I hope we can explore this open world. You can world. now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These oh are connected by magnetic God. levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. This looks incredible. Look at the mountains in the background. I mean, I know we can drive in this game, so you must be able to do quite a bit you of can exploration. Now the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Okay. Controlled okay. remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. 100 orders per hour. Woo! It's almost 99 orders per hour. We almost crashed into it. Man, I cannot wait to explore the open world, though I am not looking forward to all these robots turning against us at some point. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. That's pretty impressive. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. The future's looking green, guys. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. I guess that's how we're going to get from one area of the map. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, <laughs> erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II. Call of and the are now Motherland. entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. Right. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Okay. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Look at these mountains. I mean, this is like... See that Our mountain? Brief guided you tour can climb. Is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad place to work, not gonna lie. I'm excited to explore all the facilities. The initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Completed. What am I supposed to do about For it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Goodness me! Lucky I was wearing my seatbelt. Oh wait. They don't have seatbelts. your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Rabbit Offices of both Brown facilities. Oh no. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. It's all going to kick off. What the hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All uh -oh. the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. No thanks. Oh my god. What are you doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here. That was really very rude of them. <laughs> Oh, God. Our 
descent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. The AI's turned on us. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. What the <laughs> shit? Oh, she's dead. She may have saved her life, though, because that what? thing is going to the ground. Atomic Heart, what an intro! <laughs> wow! If you guys like what you saw so far, you can grab it from the link below. It's all kicking off already. We definitely need to reverse this update. Revert the patch. Surprised. Do not interact with the robot. Do not panic. Cool jumpsuit. Do we get to explore now? Oh, what's that? A weapon? I will use the force. Oh, nice, okay. Yo. It's pretty cool. A Wizard, golden axe. This is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section off out. I didn't think it would fight back. Whoa! What, what was that? Is that chicken just attacked me? First time I killed a chicken without the guard's white run coming after me. Oh my goodness me. I brought a lottery ticket and now it's time to sail around the world. I don't think so. What is this stuff? It looks like water or something. Oh! I've I swung can through polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a freaking miracle of modern science. What? So it's like polymer material that you can swim through. That's so interesting. Uh oh, these guys look angry. Come on, Em. I don't trust. Oh, get wrecked, son! Who wants some? Oh my god. Oh yeah, destructible body parts. This is going to be fun. Oh, we got a dodge as well. Left shift to dodge. Come on, Em. Oh, I ducked him. Wait, where did that chicken come from? Oh, can I... Oh, I can scrap them for parts? Holding down F on the bodies. You grab all the parts in the area. All right, let's take this guy out. Oh, okay. You're pretty strong. Just keep looking around behind me because this world looks pretty stunning. All right, let's run forward here. Looks like a bit of a farmland. Wait, can I actually swim up here or not? That didn't work. Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. What was, was that? arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! That cow did not enjoy that. At least the wildlife reacts to me just yeeting it with an axe. Anybody? 
Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Uh-oh. No, it's a trap. Surely this is going to be a trap. He died on the toilet. Wait, is the rope... Is there a person down there? Oh! There's a trap! Shit! Uh, get away from me! He wants to push me in there with all the other ro all the other humans. That's not where we belong. You're not putting me down a toilet. Oh goodness me, he's beating the heck out of me. Look at him, his little mustache. Fuck yourself! Please stop, Mario! Oh my god! I'm being choked to death by Mario. This is terrifying. Goodness me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. <sighs> She's not messing around. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Okay. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Pitchfork, by the looks of it. Of course, but I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Hmm. Shit! It's a chilla. Son of a bitch! We've got thirty seconds. Move your ass. Thirty oh, seconds no. until what? Detected us. Uh, thirty seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Why is she so British? <laughs> no good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You'll hold him off with you got what? An arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Okay. Die. Holy moly, she's not messing around. Uh, uh, shit. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Okay. Damn, she killed the reinforcement cargo crates. Holy shit! Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, we're going quick. We're going quick, right to the bottom. Hopefully, there's some kind of safety thing to stop this from happening. This is a long fall. We're still falling. Oh, no, we slowed down. Oh, God. Okay, something stopped us. Thank God. Wow. We should definitely get out of this lift before we die. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're almost dead anyway, right? What a goddamn clusterfuck. Oh my god. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. So, I guess this door's locked. I do not trust you. Last time we tried to help someone, I almost died. I think we can climb up here. Oh my goodness, it looks like some kind of World War II, like, tunnel. Like a mining facility tunnel. What's that? 
Oh, it's a valve. Okay, cool. And there's a pocket watch here. They can hear you. <gasps> Wait, how long has this facility been compromised? These guys have been hiding from the robots up here, eating potatoes? How long have they been hiding up here? This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in- Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Oh boy, so can we use that to get into this room and help this guy, whoever's trapped inside? Just turn the handle and open the door! Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh! He dead, he dead. Wait, no, surely go back the other way. I have two weapons here. I have the Swede and the KS-23. Oh, baby, look at that shotgun. Oh, yes. Yeah, you better come back down. Oh, my God, how far did it drill down to capture that human? What happened to this person? Why are they, like, floating and dead? I can hear people screaming for help. Safe areas. Break rooms are safe areas, each equipped with a manual save game machine. You should probably save the game. That is a cool save game feature. I like that. And we have some shotgun ammo. Wait, I've only found three shotgun shells. Ammo is going to be pretty rare in this game. They have like a fake world picture outside the window where I can see fields and stuff. They've got their own cartoon series in this game as well. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, so enemies can power attack you. Wait, I'm gonna power attack you first. Oh no, you don't. Oh, oh here we go. Let's go. Get wrecked. The the hits in this game feel impactful. And I love the looting works like this. May I as well. give you some advice? I'm kinda busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingle, why didn't you tell me that before? Another collector to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. So we can hold May I down air. That your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. <laughs> Dude, this looting system is incredible. Why has no other game ever done this? Is this a computer? How do I use this? Oh, hitting it with an axe didn't work as intended. Order from the director. Everyone's to undergo polymerization on June 10th. And this was on the 3rd. I don't know what the date is today, but I'm assuming everyone was polymerized. Oh, this is about the prisoner Petrov, who we're meant to be finding in this facility. And this is a report on his mental stability. Unofficially, he's been losing his marbles for a while now because of everything that's happened to him. I mean, the man's literally reciting poetry in his sleep. Apparently, though, the theater was important for him, and they've sent a team to search his workstation. Oh, Granny Xena. So this is the lady we met outside. Apparently, she's not allowed in the sapling warehouse anymore since stealing some saplings to cultivate herself. <laughs> what is going on with her? She seems like a really interesting character. Okay, we have all the employees that work here. There's loads of people here. Oh my god, they each have their own backstory that you can read? Jeez. Okay, we're not going to read all of this. Hopefully, we'll figure it out as we go. We also got this audio file, though. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. I'm Granny okay. Zena to you, Sonny. 
Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, comrade. Uh, Granny Zena. Not without authorization. Oh. Really? Oh, I failed. I was allowed here before. Ah. Oh. Listen here. I'm going to let these two right in this instant. Or I'll come back late. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Oh, I love this. This looting system is just fantastic. It's really, like, it, it's easy and satisfying. Which is how looting should be, right? Like, you shouldn't have to look at any, every individual container. As much as I like doing that too, this is great. Oh, there's another audio file just here. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. Okay, so uh, the computers are called pairs, apparently. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. I see. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. How this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. I oh, know you don't. Come on, them. Let's go. Oh. oh my god, I left like battle damage on his face when I do the power attack. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Oh, mate, I'm almost dead. How do I heal? Press X to regenerate health. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. One's down. Ah. Whoa, there's the power attack. Oh, my goodness. I saw him in half. Yeah, these guys don't mess around. They're pretty powerful, actually. Where did he come from? He came out of here. I can't go in there, though. It's locked. Okay, it's another audio device. The toilet's in there. <laughs> I knew he was going to come out of there. Oh, jeez. He just floored me. He's beating the heck out of me. Oh, my God. Wow, I'm almost dead again. They don't mess around. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can see. I'll keep picking up audio devices. Comrades, Love and robots. My dearest V, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer oh, required okay, to install enough. the That's shock module pretty handy. Should be. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Whoa, what is that? It's one of those mind things again. Is it scanning me? So it scanned me. It didn't want to kill me. Jeez. Oh my god. It checked me out and luckily did not kill me. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know Literally. what? You're on your own. You got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. 
Oh my god! Oh! Oh Jesus! What is that? Right. Yeah, no, no kidding. Come on then. He's a boss. Let's go. Gonna go for big. Oh, ah! big damage. Oh no, he did the beam and then the power attack. Come on then. Ow. Ah. Ow. I need to heal up. Ah! Look at him just run towards me. He doesn't care. Power attack time. Oh, I missed. The swings are slow. He's pretty good at his little martial art techniques. Ow. Oh. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine, I can deal with it later. The peaceful atom is the heart of the Soviet mechanization. If you say so. I guess we've got to go onwards and outwards. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Did I do it? I failed. Let's try again. Okay, so we have to put all of the locks down, I see. Ah, there we go. It worked. <laughs> that was a really clever lock picking mini game. I love it. Bro, why am I hearing voices? No thanks. That's creepy. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles. What's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. No, thank you. A hard pass. What is this? Wait, it's a robot? This is definitely a trap, isn't it? It's looking at me. What the fuck? Fuck me! Dude, what is that? Oh my god, what is happening? Don't let her bind your arms. What do you mean? Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. I'll turn you on, alright? Just let me at you. Oh. I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can Holy I do moly. for you? Holy moly. Okay, we we defeated her. We defeated whatever that was. Will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, so this is the skill menu. Okay. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. Oh my god, they have the Vault Boy animations for what the skills do. Dude, this is very similar to Fallout, and they've taken the best parts of it. In the dark. Ah. <laughs> Try your foes in a shower of sparks. Amazing. Dude, that's great. Okay, I'm buying this. 
what's on the crafting. How can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. I'll service you however you want. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. Jesus. <laughs> Why should I bring you? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Okay. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. Hey there. I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> what? So I can upgrade everything here. Consumables. Ammunition. Types. <gasps> Fat boy rockets. Oh, you can actually see the upgrade on the weapon as well for the new spinning attack. You can even put like fire and freezing cartridges on your gun. And then we've got the shock skill tree that we just unlocked. We've got frostbite, which freezes enemies. Mass telekinesis. Polymeric jet. Polymeric shield. That sounds cool. Energy management. And also character, which we've not unlocked yet. But there's so many skill trees here. So we've unlocked this awesome Bioshock-like ability. I know the world's going to open up after this sort of first facility that we go through. The, the game's sort of teaching you the basic mechanics. Next episode, we're going to have a stealth mission to get out of this place alive. Because in this game, you really start out pretty weak until you unlock and upgrade all your abilities. But starting out, we are kind of just a human. So I'll link the next episode down below in the description for you guys to watch. If you like this one, drop a like on the video. And if you like the game, you can grab it from the link below. I'll see you in the next episode.